What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And I'm outside, I'm so excited to be outdoors. Like, typical child just started running everywhere. <laughs> because who wants to be locked up all the time? None of us, and we're all in isolation. And do you know what? We're allowed out. Hey, Raymar, it's just popped up that you're watching. We're allowed out here, but it's been too cold, and I hate the cold, it's just not my thing. So anyway, I'm outside. Yes, it's cold, but at least there's sunshine. There's always, always something good about every single day. Hey, Reese, it's just popped up that you're watching about every single day, and today it's the sunshine. And that just really got me thinking, you know, it got me thinking about focus actually and where you're focusing in your life and how I can tell what results you're going to get based on your focus. Hey Shani, based off your focus and it's really interesting. So in a roundabout way that brought me to today's question for you, which is what do you love and appreciate most about yourself? And the reason I got there was because I was thinking about if you're focusing all the time on your goals, for example, and achieving them, super important, yeah, to make them come into reality, to um, achieve them, to make sure, thanks so much, hey, um, make sure that you're moving forward and looking for opportunities in the right way. But if you're always focusing, like always focusing on all the things you don't have, that tells me so much about your mindset. And I can actually predict as your coach, a lot, like a lot about where you're gonna end up in life, specifically in, in relation to that thing. Sometimes on broader scales, it depends on the person and, and the thoughts and a lot of other things and the language, but it tells me a lot about where you're gonna end up. But it also shows me where you're living in your mind. And it's not a good thing. It's amazing to be results driven. It's amazing to have goals. It's amazing to want things. All of these things are positive. But if you spend your whole life living in that part of your mind and working towards your goals, in essence, in a nutshell, you're out of balance. You're constantly, and bear with me while I say this because it will make sense when I explain some more, but you're constantly living in scarcity. The part of your mind that says, I don't have what I want, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough love, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, you know, boring. After a while, it gets really boring to be living in your part of your brain, brain and depression and anxiety and fear and all these nasty things. That's where it comes from. That part of your brain, the dark side of your brain. It's like the dark side of the moon. If anyone knows that Pink Floyd album. Anyway, um, I've completely lost my train of thought. I was thinking about Pink Floyd. The dark part of your brain, the part where the happiness doesn't necessarily go, the part where the light doesn't get to, the part where nothing good can come out of it most of the time there are always ways for good to come out of things and i am i am generalizing when i say that but that part of your brain so if you're constantly focusing on your goals and how cool does that sun look by the way i'm like a squirrel today i'm like a dog not a, dog. a squirrel this that the other <laughs> i cannot keep focus whatsoever um that part of your mind that's not a good thing if you're constantly living there you're out of balance you will attract more scarcity because unconsciously you'll be looking for opportunities to lack, to not have everything you want in your life, to not achieve it yet because part of you potentially gets your purpose from that drive and that um, constant chasing of things and that constant lack, that constant darkness, part of your purpose and identity may be tied to that, but that's a whole other live for another day. Today, that is how I got to today's question. What do you love and appreciate most about yourself? What is it? Let's flip the switch on this story for a moment and say, okay, instead of thinking about all the things I don't have, what do I have? What can I be grateful for? What do I love and appreciate most about myself? What good stuff do I bring to the table? What amazing things do I achieve every single day? Without even thinking about it, what is a quality that I have that makes me unique, that makes, um, that I appreciate, that, you know, I think more people in this world should have, and for a lot of people, I actually did a survey on this ages ago and forgot about it. For a lot of people, it's kindness, which really, really surprised me because it's not something that I think of. Like, it's not a quality I recognize in myself. And then, th oh my God, I have to show you this. There's like this giant teddy bear in this tree. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. It's this part of the world. It's probably normal. Um, so kindness is not an attribute in myself that I recognize or am grateful for or, or love. It's just not part of those things that I, I, I do. The part of me that I love is the resilience. I love the drive. I love the focus. I'm incredibly focused. I'm incredibly resilient and very um, mentally flexible, which I think is super important. And it's one of the massive things I built Stick It around, that resilience is just made up of flexibility and strength. And without those things, 
you won't be adaptable to change and then that comes all the way back to the Charles Darwin quote that the people who are most likely to survive are those who are most adaptable to change. And if you come from any sort of tough background in any way, shape or form and you've overcome challenges in your life, guarantee there'll be an aspect of flexibility, adaptability and resilience in there. Guarantee it. That's what I appreciate most about myself. What do you appreciate most about yourself? What do you have that you love? What's something that you wish you could spread around the world? I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Comment on this live what you love about yourself and why. Why do you love that? It is okay to give yourself a bit of a pep talk, a bit of a pat on the back. Because you are an incredible being. If you weren't, you probably wouldn't be watching these. We're all amazing. We all deserve incredible things in our life. And you're no different. You're just like the rest of us. You deserve these things too. So give yourself a pat on the back for something. Appreciate something about yourself. What is it for you? Comment on this live what it is you love most about yourself and why. And focus on the things that you have. Because sometimes flipping the switch, moving from scarcity to abundance in your mind can attract more fabulous things and you will start to see opportunities. Hey Peter, it's just popped up that you're watching. More opportunities in your life in abundance, in alignment with what you want than you ever saw before. So it's about having this balance. Yes, absolutely. You need to be focusing on your goals, focusing on what you don't have so you can change that. This is a really big hill, I'm just gonna stop. Um, focusing on what you don't have so that you can um, work to get it, make your dreams a reality, absolutely. But it's a balance. And today, I'm really puffed out. Today's balance is all about uh, flipping that switch into abundance. What do you have? What do you love most about yourself and why? I want to hear from you guys to so comment on this live because Stick It is the revolution to empower one million young adults around the world to break the mold. And that starts with you. So be the first one, comment what it is that you love about yourself and why I've shared with you what I love about myself. And that doesn't mean I'm big noting, it just means that today that's what I'm really appreciative of. It's something that I have and have to offer and to give to the world. And I want to hear from you. So most importantly, comment, let me know. Can't wait to hear from you. And remember to stick it.